What is going on guys? We are back with another video today on Madden 20 Connected Franchise. We're doing another rebuild and it's kind of a fun one. I've seen something similar to this. I've seen fantasy drafts. I've seen rebuilds. But have I ever seen a legend fantasy rebuild? Probably, but we're still doing it. Of course, if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter to help you care. Just if you want to see rebuilds in general. And then, of course, tomorrow is why we're doing the uh, Niners in this rebuild. Not only because they're a pretty legendary franchise, but Super Bowl for the Niners. Let's... Woo! Let's, okay, so what pick are we going to get? We're pick seven. So let's pause... DeAndre Hopkins still taking high. I showed there was another roster that had literally every legend you could ever think of, but I also wanted to go with uh, names that we would all recognize rather than some of them just being backup. So I don't remember what the ages were. So everyone's normal development. This is going to be an interesting one with everyone with normal Walter Payton to be cool. I think you kind of have to go QB. What kind of names do we got? So we got uh, how old is Tom? 42-year-old Tom Brady, Joe Montana. So all these guys are 20. This is going to be a little bit annoying in that sense. Uh, there are a lot of names. Oh, Michael Vick. Oh, my God. Michael Vick. So I don't think we need to go with running back right out the gate. Mike O'Corner. We might honestly go corner. Michael Vick. If, is he going to Calvin Johnson? God. Oh, my boy Randy, though. These are really good stats. These are fair stats. I, I really like this. I, I like whoever made this roster, man. Good job. It is, I believe, the most downloaded roster on uh, Xbox. So, you know, it makes a lot of sense. And a lot of the, I mean, so far the ratings, I'm not disagreeing with any of them. Speed 85, you know, in this prime 85, speed 87 excels perfectly, you know, fair in my book. Tony Gonzalez, let's take a look. This will be a good test. Yeah, Tony Gonzalez should not be that fast. He's He was deceptively fast. He wasn't as fast as you would think. Uh, what else? Offensive linemen. Of course, there's going to be some names, but we ain't doing offensive linemen, boys. We we ain't doing that. Uh, you have some decent pass rushing and guys like Reggie White and whatnot. Of course, we're going to have to up the developments of these guys, which is going to suck so much. Actually, no, we don't. I didn't even think about it. We didn't. We don't because they're already like 99 overall. Nice. We actually don't have to worry about them. I forgot. Dang, that's, that's nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do we want to do? Butkus, Lambert, Singletary, Ray Lewis. How much speed? It may be a little too high, but it's it's close, right? Brian Erlacher. Let's take a look. I mean, these are so this is this is fun. There's some names. Yeah, I could look at the whole roster. Oh, I died. I could look at the whole roster and take up all your time. Night Train Lane. Deion Sanders, Charles Woodson, got Champ Bailey. Oh my lordo. Oh. You look at the names. What about safeties? Ed Reed, Troy Palomalu, Brian Dawkins, Steve Atwater. Lads, this is hard. This is so hard. Corner, even with this roster, isn't super great. Do we go just Deion Sanders? Like, do we just lock down with a corner? Uh, now nah, we're going Randy Moss. We're going, we got to go. We got to go, Randy. I got to go, Randy. In the next round, if Michael Vick's there, I'm going Rand I'm, I'm going Michael Vick. Apparently, Randy Moss is the 93rd best player, which I just simply do not believe. Deion Sanders is still there. Oh, QB is going. We are going with Michael Vick, the one and only himself. Go dame. What a beast. Oh, this is, this is moistening. This is definitely moistening. Deacon Jones, though. Look at these names, boys. These guys are sick. Walter Payton. I mean, how do you even make a thumbnail with this roster? Like, you just don't. You don't. There's just too many names. You can't. He, just, he was just like, you know what? Lawrence Taylor is like the GOAT, so just screw it. LT's getting it. He's, he's getting the numbers. Uh, so we have two offensive players already. Man, this is a, this is a fun. This is a lot of a fun. Middle linebacker is a big one, right? What about corner, though? We saw a big name there still, right? Charles Woodson. Uh, exactly what I would expect. Nothing insanely great, but still a very good corner. There are other corners there, too, though. Linebacker is hard to pass on, but you got some. Man, I'm. Mm, do we guys go? I think we should go Deacon or Lawrence Taylor. Reggie White, though. I think we're going to go with Lawrence Taylor. And, you know, we always played right. You know, we play a 4-3. So we're going to go with Lawrence Taylor. 
Look at this man work. Oh my god. Like, it doesn't matter, but it looks cool. So I might still do it, even though it's not going to actually factor. Barry Sanders. Patrick Willis, though. We're not going to waste any more picks on a pass rusher unless, you know, someone crazy is still there somehow. Padgett, that should be like 90. Yeah, 90 speed. This guy, yeah, this guy made a pretty damn good roster in my book. Leonard Fletcher, that was like E. He was actually pretty fast in his prime, though. Yeah, I was about to say 85. This guy's good. Zach, I'd say maybe like an 83, 84. I mean, whoever made this roster, he, he's, he knows. Like, when does guys like Gronk go? There's so many great tight ends in history that you probably don't need to worry about it, but I still am. Cal. <laughs> oh, my God. That's sickening. I think I'm going to go with best available, and that's going to be... Oh, I forgot Woodson's not there. I was thinking Dur uh, Durrell. Charles Woodson was going to be there for us. We're going to go with Patrick Willis, simply put. Darrell Revis is at the top of the list. He's still there. I mean, you look around. There's not a whole lot of guys outside of him. I'm going to go with Darrell Revis. We're going to go with that guy. Mean Joe Green. You still have Dawkins. Of course, Sean Taylor is gone. I think we're going to go with Doc. The ball Doc. The Wolverine. Weapon X. Going for him. Damn, he made Antonio Gates, but he didn't drop his age. He's 39. He did, what are you doing, pal? Kind of want to go Jared Allen, man. I know he's not going to be super fast. Uh, what do they get? He's 90 strength. He was Mario Williams, though. Ooh. Some fun ones in here. I'm actually tempted to go John Randall and put him at defensive end. We're going to go John Randall and put him on the outside. Are we really going to fall for the overalls? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Steve Atwater. We're falling for the overalls. Imagine having to face Steve Atwater and Brian Dawkins. Yikes. Bronco Nagurski. Mike Allstott. Damn, look at the names here. Brady Bolitnikoff. Look at all the names. Harold Carmichael. Like, Plaxico. TJ Hutzmanzana. Donald Driver. Amani Toomer. Devin Hester, though. God damn. Damn, how do you make a decision? I'm trying to draft as many real life, well, like, legends as I can. And I think Jeremy Shockey's the last one that's, like, true and isn't, like, going to be trash in age and all that. So we're going to go Jeremy Shockey. Maybe a bit of a reach, but in the terms of what we were looking for, that was the best fit. Uh, he also made him a lot faster than he probably should have been. Hit power is a little low. I'm going to go with Lance Briggs. Don't tell me he made Adrian Peterson old. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to change that. He should also be way faster than that. Go with the beast, Bruce Matthews. We're probably reaching a little early for linemen, but I want to make sure we have a few beast names. Larry Allen. Oh, God. The beast names. If I could only have had uh, Ogden, but of course, uh, he goes very high because he's an actual tackle. Oh, crap. We left corner go very far. There's no freaking legends left. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to us to do something like that, though. That's funny. William Perry, though. Not a great DT, but one big fella. Oh, do you even know, like, how many crazy names I love here? Santana Moss is one of my favorite players in the game with uh, Chris, what is his name? Clinton Portis. God darn. Tootin'. Let's go, Harold Carmichael. How slow is he? 88 speed, but he's a big fella that can catch. 23, it's all right with me. Juice. The juice is loose. One of the teams just took James Conner. I get the developments aren't there, but what in the world? Oh, crap. All the guards are gone. The guys are smarter than I gave them credit for. We've got issues, kids. Man your battle stations. We're under attack. We're going to go with William Perry. Big 85 overall beast. We're going to go with Ryan Kelly, the center. Go with Frank, Frank Ragnar. And I don't know, is that enough linemen? I freaking hope it is. Offensive linemen, we have one left guard, two centers, one right guard. Ah, we need another player, damn it. You know, we're just going to leave it. Actually, was Eric McCoy there? James Daniels. There's some there's some names. I'm going to go with Chidobi Awuzie because we, once again, screwed up a bit at DB. So we missed out on linebacker, so we're going to go with uh, Darnell Savage, and we're going to play Steve Atwater at linebacker. We're, we're going to get a little uh, a little wild out here. We need that burner, so we're going to go Santana Moss. We'll take Marshall Falk as a backup. Good receiving back. This is what the quarterbacks look like. Like Teams just don't need QB, so you got guys like Jameis Winston, Sam Darnold, Kyler Murray just not being drafted. Look at these mid-tier names, though. Edron James, Clinton Portis, Chris Johnson... Warwick Dunn, Amon Green, Fred Taylor, Jamal Charles, Brian Westbrook, Arian Foster, you remember him, Matt Forte, Reggie Bush, 
Any other smaller names, maybe? No? We're gonna go with Jim Thorpe, just for the age. I don't need a backup, but I ask you this question, why not? Backup to that end, David Njoku. Moose and Muhammad, oh my lord. Some of these wild names. We're gonna go Devin Hester, I need a kick returner. He should have like 100 kick returning. Gonna get Xavier Woods as a backup. I don't even think about kicker, I bet you Adam Venateri was there. Damn it, Aldrick Rosas it is. Michael Dixon time. Do what you want with your son. See, now what's really hard for me is to not just cheese the hell out of the running backs. There's so many of them left over, but I won't. We're going to go with Marcus Colston. Eric McCoy is going to be our center with his star development. Chris Johnson. Why not take Kyler Murray? Who doesn't want Kyler Murray as a backup? Kyler Murray backing up the one and only Michael Vick. We go with one final running back, Warwick Dunn, just because he's a fun player. Probably tried Mar trade Marshall Falk off, depending on who has what contract. Do we really need another kicker turner? Dante Hall it is. Ah, Quandre Diggs. I know he's on the older side, but he can play corner. Blake Cashman. I mean, all the steals in the world. So we sim to the end. Let's see. We have a 93 overall team, and that's without actually changing position. So we might be at a 95, honestly. Not really much of a rebuild. Just a fantasy draft. Uh, Randy. That's not Randy. That's Santana. There's Randy Moss. Our man. So what we're going to do, I think, is for the guys that deserve insane developments, we're going to give them insane developments. For guys that don't, we're not going to. So simply put, we'll be back after that. We're also going to actually, let's trade the guys we want to trade first so that we don't have some unfair advantage by, you know, boosting overalls and whatnot by switching, you know, well, boosting trade value by changing developments and whatnot. So We'll do that. Let's see Quandre Diggs. What's his uh, overall? Probably like a 77 or so at corner, right? At least. You know, the e eh, 78. Every team needs some holes. That's what she said. Dre Marshall Falk, Warren Warwick done, and a third-round pick for pick 30 and 62 from the Chiefs, of course. Uh, who knows? Honestly, this is going to be an interesting one. Who knows whose pick is going to be what? Uh, we can trade 11 for pretty much anything, though, which is nice. And we're going to trade Reggie Bush. I don't think we have any other backups, really. I mean, we got some wide receivers, but overall, we don't really have any extra backups. So, yeah, I mean, I like where we are. I don't know what every other team would have been prioritizing, but you could see our team, not bad. Maybe we can get to use a corner, but yeah, corner safety, DB is really going to be the main focus. Question is, Michael Vick going to be able to do his thing? And yes, I said that. I regret it all. Pick 11, Reggie Bush for pick 19 and a fifth next year. I mean, it's really, it's whatever. But let's move everyone in the lineup and see what we are. We are 95 overall, 95 offense, 95 defense, and this is what the roster looks like. We gave uh, developments based on what I felt was fair. Devin Hester could have made him an X Factor because he was the greatest of all time in what he did, which was kick returns. But I didn't want him to be that great of a receiving threat, so had to think about it. Vic, of course, X Factor. OJ, X Factor. Randy Moss, X Factor. Matthews and Larry Allen, X Factor, um, Superstar, Jeremy Shockey, Superstar. On the defense, we have a lot of X Factors. Lawrence Taylor, uh, Mean Joe Green, John Randall, Darrell Revis, Willis, Atwater, and Dawkins. We gave Briggs, Star, William Perry, Superstar, and that's about it. So we have some things we can get, but really, this is just going to be such a weird one. It really is, because it's just like, there's going to be a lot of good teams. I'm actually going to take a look at those teams right now. Actually, first things first, let's let's simulate to the regular season because that's when every team should be set. And then we'll see what overalls. I would assume we're still probably going to be pretty damn high. Obviously, the AI drafts quote-unquote perfectly. They know exactly when everyone's about to go. So ours may be a few reaches, but overall, I still think we're going to be great. 90, 90, 89, 90, 91, 90, uh, 93 for the Steelers, 93 for the Titans, 92 for the Vikings... Colts 93, Eagles 92, Jaguars 94, uh-oh, they also got Mahomes, we went with Vic for the, the thumbnail and how fun he is, but realistically, there was other options, but you know, we would have had to take him first pick, had to go Randy, had to go my dude Randy, of course there's a bunch of abilities, we'd even take a look at what they were, what did Randy get, Randy got double me, Randy Moss could have had Moss, right, they're like, Nah, mate, nah, we're gonna give him freaking double me. I really don't care, obviously, but first one free with Jukebox and Human jo Oh, give me Human Joystick on Ronald if we ever get to a 90. Run and Gun makes sense, Last Ditch is good, Bulldozer, okay, Clutch, fair enough, Dashing Deadeye makes sense, so if he could get, 
escape artist. That would be insane. There's really not much more I really care about. Let's go on to, uh, I guess midseason doesn't really matter. If we win, we are in. If we lose, we're still in because we were that freaking good. 14 and 2. I knew we were a good roster, but with all these teams having so many great players, I just didn't know if we were actually as good as we thought we were. Falcons and Cardinals. What were the Falcons? Uh, Cardinals 10 and 6, and we might have actually allowed them in the playoffs with that loss. Michael Vick with a, a decent season 37 67, 35 touchdowns, 6 picks. A whopping 76% completion percentage, 124 pass rating. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know what kind of rushing they allowed him to have. Of course, not a crazy amount, but still a really good season. Chris Johnson did well behind OJ Simpson. Randy Moss really did not have the season I was hoping for, but, you know, we succeeded. And that's, in the end, all that matters. We got some pass rush, boys. Lawrence Taylor, John Randall, and surprisingly, Mijo Green with the lead. 32 sacks from the edge, 18 and a half on the inside. Willis with six and a half sacks, three picks. Pick totals weren't as great as I would have liked, but still a really good season. And Rosas with several misses. Oh, no, 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 no. Kicker turning. We normally wouldn't care, but we need to care. Devin. Yes. Okay, Devin. Okay. Okay. You know, you play a lot of seasons in the NFL. One a year is fine. Steve Young with the win over Mahomes. Tarkenton, Vic at number four. I am happy with that. You know, there's a lot of good names. Vic at number three for Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Joe Green at four. Will, we should actually take a look at all the numbers across the league. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Vic at number three. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Joe Green at four. Obviously, he made all of them into uh, rookies. Niners, no, number 10. We made it on the list. Obviously, not there. We have the two top offensive linemen. Uh, was that Jari Evans? It was. Jeff Saturday, I saw him as well. Oh, man. The names. They're bringing me back, boys. They're bringing me back. Brian Dawkins, best DB. Okay, I mean, this is fun. This is... It's not going to be a traditional one, as you guys obviously could tell by now, but this is good. I really hope uh, you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Uh, or are do as much as I did. I, I don't know. 79% completion percentage from Mahomes is... Quite ridiculous. Uh, so who had the most touchdowns? 44 for Aaron Rodgers. Montana, of course, was the best of all the players, though. Rushing numbers. Barry Sanders with a whopping 1,800 yards on 6.3 yards per carry. 18 touchdowns. Peterson with 21 touchdowns, though. Who had the most fumbles? Four for Kamara. Christian Okoye with three. That's kind of shocking. Uh, who had the most receiving yards? Not crazy numbers, honestly. Reggie Wayne, maybe the corners are just really good, or there's just a lot of teams spreading the ball around, but pretty low numbers, lower than you would normally see. There's obviously something to that. Uh, offensive line, who gave up the most sacks? Russell Kuhn, yeah, it's going to be all the, like, nobody. Well, maybe not all the nobody, nobody's. Tunsil, you know, some, there's some names in there, you know? Stanley, that's a big name. Who had the most sacks, though? 18 and a half for me and Joe Green really led the league. I, that's the main reason I wanted to look at these numbers, I thought... There would have been someone else. Who had the most picks? Seven for Mike Singletary. Okay. Who had the longest kick? Any led? Did he forget to put le Legends in there? I don't know what overall Venetary is. I think he forgot. Whoever made this roster kind of made a huge mistake. You put all that depth in. You put all that depth in for... Uh, I don't know why I would have expected him to be a legend. All that depth in for all these players. And then... One where you maybe have to do like four, you know, four players each. You don't. Come on, fella. It's an amazing roster. Still recommend it, but still, still. Fourteen. Oh, of course, we're playing against the team we lost to. Of course, I want to aim for three years anyway. So if we win one right out of the gate, that would be great. Ninety-eight overall versus ninety-three overall. Arizona Cardinals led by Aaron Rodgers, who had a really freaking good season. All right, Arizona, you know you want to lose, and we know we want you to lo to lose, of course. That's that's how it works. 10 to... Z oh, damn it. I was about to say 10 to 3, but somehow they got a magical touchdown all the way down the field. Once again, this is a weird one because all the teams are a really high overall. So how does the game really differentiate on who's who? We got a field goal with, like, one second left. Clutch! So pretty much every win, no matter who you're playing, no matter what their overall is is a fair, close battle. That's the one thing I'm going to take away from today's video is that 
I can't really complain. I don't know who the hell Mayo is, but if I was them, I'd be complaining because that guy should not be catching a touchdown. Was it two touchdowns, actually? No, it was one. Michael Vick is quite to the high overall. Did they give him escape artists? I think it is a one out of three shot. Oh, that's so clutch. That is so lucky. I don't know if they have a new algorithm in the game where, you know, you're guaranteed to uh, to have that. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Devin Hester being number 83. 86 though not so cool okay so the Rams are a 91 overall a little bit lower than us and their top three players aren't even legends <laughs> they forgot they they didn't get the memo and yes I know there's gonna be people like actual people taking this so strong to heart they're gonna complain that I didn't make every single player in the league a fair development but honestly it doesn't matter it just doesn't and actually since I'm lazy it's pretty fair because I skip all the scenarios while the AIs don't. So there's probably a lot of these players that actually had, had scenarios. So, yeah, take that, Grandma. 21 to 17. 24 to 17 and a half. Nice. Of course, with Escape Artists, you know I'm going to try Vic out. We've already used him in our own Michael Vic video that we made, which I think was probably built a little bit better than uh, the one here. But, you know, once again, I can't complain. I really like this roster he built. Randy Moss on the field. Let's see how fast Vic is with that escape artist. Not fast enough. That's going to be freaking picked. I am the big trash. I will say, whoever the hell that was off the edge is absolutely insane. Do we pick it? I want ball. This would be a really clutch stand by them, even though the ball is on the line of scrimmage. There he goes. How did he not fumble there? I know we're making the mockery of the NFL. Oh my god, am I just that bad? Look at Michael Vick, though. Jesus. I'm that bad. I threw two actual passes. Both were picked. What damn sliders are we on here? Michael Vick threw four touchdowns, one interception. Uh, receiving... Shocky. I know no crazy normal names making the plays. So that totals three for Calais. Damn. Was it Derek Thomas making the plays? Probably Joey Porter. There's some really good players on, on most of these rosters. We are now headed to the Super Bowl, I believe. I almost choked that away. That's why you go for a guy like Vic. You throw a pick six to Pat Pete and, you know, uh-oh. But since you got Michael Vic, it's like, uh, okay, best of luck, pal. Best of luck on your journeys. Of course it's the Patriots. Why wouldn't it be? Who did they have to beat? They probably had a bye week, huh? I didn't see their overall. So the wild card, they did have a bye week. They played the Broncos. I mean, who knows? Uh, the Jaguars, who knows? And then, yeah, I think the Jaguars were actually pretty bad. Didn't we have their pick? I don't even know. But they made the playoffs, so freaking hope not. 90 overall. They're getting even lower. Russell, ooh, Russell Wilson's a great sim quarterback. This could be bad. Do we even want to draft, honestly? Going to the end of the game, I just coughed really loudly, and hopefully it was edited out. Can't promise, because it's me, after all. 10-0. to Oh, come on. It's the Patriots. you got to close out. You can't get down the field and not close out, because you find yourself in a game where you're down 14-10 to when you should have been up, like, 24-14. to I don't like it. Oh, I love it. Oh, good defense. This could be a Super Bowl out the gate, and it is. 31-28. Similar eh, score seems pretty uh, interesting. Interesting names on the Patriots squad as well. Is that Aaron Donald? I see Russell Wilson, Aaron Donald. Some interesting names from the NFC West. Winners, 49ers. Are we going to see that tomorrow? Huh? Segway. Like and subscribe if you want to see the F Niners. F super, super. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, God. Yeah, this was... Uh, I knew we were going to do well, right? But once again, every team is a pretty damn high overall uh, to start the season, we saw that we were only a few overalls on some of the highest of teams. You know, teams like the Seahawks going 1-15 or whatever it was. Damn, Vic. Balling out of control. Look at him go. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. But, yeah, you saw a lot of teams really good. 1-15. I don't know how any of that happens. I honestly think with the way the rosters were built from this fantasy draft, Maybe if there was one, I think there was one team that was like an 88, maybe them, but for the most part, it should be all like a bunch of 4 and 12 teams or something weird like that. But of course, we got that Super Bowl trophy. Two more seasons to see if we can make a dynasty, which let's be honest, probably not actually, because if we're already at the top, 
It's not really a whole lot we can do to get better while the other teams are 100% going to. We obviously have to take a look at our development ups if we had any, which honestly, I'm trying to think, maybe somebody on defense. Other than that, I don't know if we would have one. Defensively, interesting. Yeah, maybe if there was somebody left off the superstar list, like a Wouzier, I don't know. We could see some free agents. Most of them probably would be running backs, though, as Jamal Charles was one of them for us. 98 overall. Let's take a look at that development up situation. Tight end, no. So no wide receiver changes. Defense, I do not see a development up anywhere across the front, but that's completely fine. Lawrence is already, he's 21 years old here, and he's uh, basically non-upgradable. Same with Mean Joe Green. So of course, like we said, we would have a running back here, and it's Jamal Charles. Didn't really get to see the light of day too much, but obviously we can't afford, I mean, once we have to re-sign people, we can't afford half the players. We're definitely not going to be able to afford a third string running back. Five free agents, obviously everyone's going to have a ton of money, but there still will be guys left go. You know, Lenny Moore, Jamal Charles. Don't know why all these running backs are being offered. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, Josh Norman, nah, we don't really need any of these. I don't think we're going to go for any of these guys. We just don't need them. Simply put, just do not need them. The real question, though, is, you know, where did most of these guys get drafted? Like, I can see some of the names, right? But why would somebody like McKinney not get a better deal? It's where you're drafted in the draft that determines your contract, right? All right, start the draft. We have a safety and a corner. The rest of the draft kind of look like the garb. The Jets will give us pick four and eight. Of course, we did have pick number one because we just know of everything that's going on. They draft a right end out the gate, and the Buccaneers behind them might have drafted one even better. Nice. Nice job there. Nice. Can I really gain nothing? Can I not trade down to, like, 15 for something? I got distracted, and uh, David and Joku in the second round for Mike Webster. Well, we solved that position. I was going to draft a you know, late guy. We still might, but... Yeah, looking good. Trade pick four for 13 and 55. I did not expect them to just take that, so they got a bit of a steal. But at least they worked with us, and ooh, 78 overall linemen. Interesting. So we're going to take our two guys. Uh, there was some pass rushers, but overall, these are the players we had. Bodden by far looks the best, although we don't see the true skills, so we're just hoping for the best. Okay, 75 overall. Of course, it's going to come down to the development. Could potentially play corner if he has to. Decent hit power. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then with 13, I think we'll take the cornerback, but I, I don't know. See, the cornerback is... Yeah, no thank you. I'm not doing that. I was going to, but looking at it again, I yeah, I don't I don't think so. We have uh, Quandre Diggs. He's good enough. Did I want to give him Blake Cashman? No. Did I want the draft picks? Hell yes. So see you later, Blake. We have a pick in the fourth round. I mean, we don't really need offensive linemen anymore. If anything, we have too many. But we'll still take one if they're there, damn it. Look, the Cowboys got a steal. They got Daniel Jones in the late fourth. Uh, Rashawn King is still there. Really good 40 or 40 time bench press. Yikes. Not bad. You could develop him in a user potentially, but not for us. Yeah, that was trash. Never mind. You know us. When we have a terrible draft moment, we like to completely escape the draft. What do we draft? We draft a normal left tackle who has no future on the team. And then a safety. Yeah, wasn't super hot of a draft. Just going to say it. Jarrell Bodden, of course, super young. Block shedding's lacking, but potential, of course, young. Once again, we said that several times now. And his develop. Okay, there, Bodden. Superstar X Factor development. Okay, now I need to see this cornerback. Of course, he didn't have nearly the potential as our guy did, but. Yeah, well, first things first, McGraw. Uh, he's pretty damn slow, New York. I'm just going to say it. Start of, don't tell me the Buccaneers at number two ended up with the better pass rusher. He looks faster. I mean, just base stats, it's not even close. He's better. But let's take a look. Woo! Good job there, New York. Didn't see that coming. Not at all. Kareem Frey. What a trade-up by the Browns. This guy looks insane. Development is star. I mean, it doesn't matter. Star, superstar, amazing player regardless. Do wish there was, uh, you know, I wish there was a way to actually develop freaking linemen. But, you know, that's beside the point. Devon Hanna, uh, Hannon, 73 overall, young once again, very raw. Did we make a mistake? We kind of didn't. 
I don't I don't know. I don't I don't think we did. Either way, fine by me. Let's take a look at season two. What overall are we? I'm pretty sure we're gonna be like a ninety six 99 overall. Okay, bro. I'll take that. Woods and a fourth round pick for the Cardinals first round pick. I, you know, I don't want to take their pick, but they were the only ones that wanted the guy. So best of luck to you. I may have accidentally traded a shadow monster to the Dolphins. But you know, it's all right. They'll deal with it. They'll, they'll contain the thing. Oh crap. We gave him two first rounds and a, a freaking fifth for that. In fairness, it was 25 and 32, so I'm not I'm not worried at all. McCoy and 45 for the Redskins first round pick. All right, here's the starting roster headed into the season two. We're looking really good. The receivers still all pretty much at star outside of Moss. It technically Hester, but who cares? Mike Webster, the new center, superstar development, looking baller. 93 strength. Yeah, you know, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Defense, obviously looking great with Bodden as in a superstar X-Factor. Almost making this entire roster X-Factors on defense. You know, need, need outside linebacker, DT one away, and then Awuzie and uh, Diggs. But really good defense. Somehow better, basically, than the offense in development. But it, it only makes sense. It was only fair. All right, so looking at re-signings, we have Chris Johnson. Can't do it, pal. Sorry. Marcus Colston. Can't do it, pal. Sorry. Aldrich Rosas, we will re-sign right now. We probably could get Colston back, but once you actually have to re-sign players, that's when it gets deadly impossible. Uh, but right now, we you know we're just trying to re-sign backups, which I think we should probably avoid. Uh, you know, I don't know if we'll ever look at this roster ever again, but still, just in case we do, you know, we'll we'll let them all go for now. Here we are, headed back to the playoffs. If we win, I don't even know. Honestly, I, I stopped looking. Uh, 13-3, and three, so we did take an extra loss this year, an extra L, which I'm not proud to be able to say. Uh, Cardinals, of course, that's going to happen when you're us. Patriots and Bills, I once again, I don't know. Patriots were uh, in the Super Bowl with us, though, so we know they're good. Seahawks are like, yeah, pal, sorry, but uh, we're not going to really represent too well in this division, are we? Yeah, Michael Vick, average. Uh, OJ Simpson didn't get as many carries. Yeah, our offense is really bad. Thankfully, we seem to have a lockdown defense. I don't know what the offense's problem is, but yeah, a little worrisome. Uh, defensively, what do we got? Lawrence Taylor, amazing. Joe Green, amazing, even better than last season. John Rand, a little bit of a down year, but you know he is a DT playing edge. Uh, Steve Atwater with an amazing season. Refrigerator Perry getting involved finally. Uh, kicking Rosas 10 times better. Gotta love it. Yearly awards, huh? Look at MVP. Russell Wilson with a 12-4 and Patriots roster goes number one. Vic drops one spot to number five. Uh, Coach of the year, yep. Let's see, NFC, Michael Vick, 13-3, and of course. Michael Vick, Offensive Player of the Year? I mean, how do I, how you go offensive? I guess to be fair, he's best in the NFC. Defensive Player of the Year, Joe Green. Okay, so if we got the best offensive and defensive player of the year, got the best rookie, we got to be doing something right, right? Three, the best three linemen. Some of our other guys might slip in. Well, I guess there's a lot of legends. Maybe not. Joe Green, of course. Really, Joe Green, but where's Lawrence? I'm so confusion. I don't know. Going to the divisional round. Of course, it's against the Cardinals again. Let's see. 99 to their 94. Once again, you know, not really too much we could have done to get better, even though I think we did get better, while the other teams obviously had a full year to finally try and catch up. And we're kind of seeing that already with the Cardinals. They have a decent roster, but is it really that good of a roster? Roger, you know, Rogers is going to be regressed a bit. I, see, I think he's, yeah, he's on the Cardinals. So we're not facing a, t you know, a top 10 Rogers anymore, probably. We're probably facing a 15, maybe even 20. Why am I kicking again? I, I don't know. All right, so I think we forced a turnover. We got three, then we get seven, 10 to seven. Um, fellas, fellas, it's this way. Thank you. Okay, kicker. Um. It's through the uprights, if you didn't know that. Okay, okay. Things are getting a little uh, a little heated here at Caillou's house. Let's, let's chill out a little bit. I mean, of course, we have our Super Bowl win, but I would prefer multiple. It's not looking too hot for that, though. Third and ten. Okay, we got to come in. Santana. Never mind, Randy. We'll choose, we'll choose the better of the mosses. GG there. That's a win and a half. Interesting call. I probably shouldn't have just chosen randomly. Vic inside. Guess who? 
randomly Moss, Randy Moss, Randy Moss. That's that's who. If we choke this game away on defense, oh, what do you mean? Wait, what? What actually do you mean? Wait, what? How's what? We're moving. No, we're not. You've got to be joking me. D okay. Going to double overtime? No, we're not. We're winning the game. Finally, to the divisional. Or the championship, actually. Not the divisional. Interesting game. Kyler Murray had a touchdown at some point. I don't know when the hell he did that, but congrats, my dude. Huge play. I'll take it. Bruce Smith. McKinney. Nobody wanted him. He went to free agency. Can Michael Vick actually even upgrade anymore? He can. A lot of people can upgrade. We'll just automatically do it. I forgot Patrick Willis on his own team. That's kind of slick. He might probably, he probably, will, mm, I don't know who's going to make the thumbnail. There's some very good names. I almost simmed the game. Uh, that would have been pretty stupid. 99 to, once again, their 94 overall Philadelphia Eagles. Well, not their 94 overall Philadelphia Eagles. They are the 94 overall Philly Eagles. All right, let's take a look. Come on, defense. Really, it's been the defense holding up and setting up short fields to get us into the position we've been in. And it's looking good. You know, start of the second half. Almost the fourth, up by 21. We hold. Defense is just doing its job. Oh, my God. This defense is insane, man. This defense, this is not much of a rebound. This is just a slaughtering. We might win three straight. We really might. I'm surprised we have I get there's a lot of high overall teams. I'm still surprised, though, with the way we're playing, that we didn't go 16-0 on the season. Really am. Their right tackle gave up four sacks. Lawrence Taylor had three. Jesus. Patrick Willis with a pick. Nice. We just talked about him, and, you know, he came alive. Roll versus the Bills. Let's take a look if we did have any developments ups this time. Maybe we'll have a... Maybe we'll have one. Who knows? Maybe there's a chance. Uh, So, tight end, no. Receivers, no. Defensively, maybe. Nope. No development ups at all, but Bodden, he's about to be in 87 overall, most likely, with shutdown ability. There is a lot. How do you even choose which one you want to activate? We're only at 92 overall, which in this scenario is pretty freaking bad. All right, end game. Seven to nothing. Defense. Hey, you watch yourselves, Buffalo. Watch yourselves. Into the half, we will be up by seven. Not a confident score here. Good stop by the defense. Only give up a field goal, and then you know that happens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We get the field, we get the touchdown. I think we fail a two point. I think we went for. A Did we? Third and ten. I don't want to play it. Right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit here. Um. Okay. Everyone's really talented. There's not a singular soul on this defense. Yeah, there's not a singular soul in this defense that isn't going to make a big play. Uh-oh. Fellas! Did he go to bounds? That's a huge play. I'm coming in. I don't care. What a play by Willis. And who the hell was the other guy? Who actually was the other guy? Randy? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, I don't know what you're doing there. They pressed him, and then the safety left. He just, he said, yeah, that's not my fault. We're we're not making it, we're not winning the Super Bowl, but it's not my fault. Well, we win again. There we go. Don't really need to show this, you know, the animation, because, uh, you know, the cinematic's pretty much the exact same team. If anything, slightly upgraded, but no one we're going to see. Uh, like, Mike Webster, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, none of that crap. It's just going to be the same thing. You know, I, I, you could probably put the two side to side and still. Just the way it is. Michael Vick with another Super Bowl MVP. I can't I can't see. I think so. No one cares. It's over. Let's take a look at the stat line. I can't really remember about the... I uh, can't remember the stat line from the first Super Bowl. But, of course, it's another team from the NFC... E uh, AFC East, anyways. Excuse my language... Khalil Mack, Too Tall Jones, uh, Pat Williams. That's not a bad defensive line. They missed a field goal, which probably played a bit of a factor in the game. I don't know exactly what it is, but a bit of one. All right, Chris Johnson, once again, can't sign backups. Maybe we'll get one in free agency. Colson would love to keep. Dante Hall would love to keep. But look at the contracts. 
Uh, we're going to have to keep the main guys that have been, you know, doing work for us, kind of. Wait, did uh, Quandre Diggs go up in development? He might He might have. There was a chance. Nope, he didn't. I thought it said star. Well, we're about to lose him anyways. Two free agency. 82 mil with uh, tons of guys that probably resign the following season. Tony Dorsett. Hey, Edrin, let's go for all of the running backs. We got Dunn and Coles. I don't know who the hell Coles is, but I uh, took him. I don't have to know you to want you, you know? So this team needs to repay or pay Perry. Probably go for a DT. Offensive lineman, I don't think. I just don't think he can afford linemen. Maybe Ragnar. Uh, what else? Santana, probably not worth assigning. Woozy, you might have to. Savage, you trade off. Thorpe is a fullback. Don't need to talk anymore about Literally, Thorpe is a fullback. That's all you need to know. So we have pick number three. And I seen a lineman I like, which is kind of ironic because we end up paying this guy about the same price as uh, look at this guy Woo! javier matthias matthias what a freak look at that freaking bench press a little bit slow but he's a monster and bo oh my yeah he is number one this guy is insane wow those have a dt which i think we're gonna use to replace uh, william perry a little bit on the weaker side considering you know we've seen guys with 40 bench presses easy in dt Looks pretty good, though. So, I mean, we're going to take them. Great skills. I don't know what their developments are, but it really doesn't matter. It's 95 stamina for a big DT like this, too. That's really impressive. We now have two more picks that are back-to-back, -back, but I don't think we need to go for anyone. There's another tackle, which I think we might grab, just in case we have to pay any other players. So, we're going to trade down to, I don't know. I guess pick 36 is almost just fine. Let's go to, like, yeah, 25. That works. We had a trade from 9 to 25 for free. They wouldn't take anything. They wouldn't do it. There's one. I hope they draft a bust. Of course they don't draft a bust. Why would they draft a bust? That just makes no sense. Crap, we traded uh, pick 10 down far. That's I can, all I can tell. We trade Yadam and pick 10 for the next year Buccaneers pick, which was projected you know, pretty much top 5 for the last several years. Uh, draft board, I believe we have another tackle. We do. James Rafano, the top skills got me going, and the combine grade is not bad. And he's not bad. Okay. I mean, we may be having one of the best offensive lineman drafts you could ever ask for. We're assembling an entire offensive line from one singular draft. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't want that? And now here for our potentially final pick, Sergio Buck. Not perfect, but he looks really good, and that combine grade is insane. You know, he did... He's, yeah, pretty damn close to perfect. 72 catching, 89 jump. He's really good. All right, Matthias, you look like an absolute tank and a freak, so clearly you're a superstar. He's not, however, very talented. Uh, this guy, without a doubt, is a star. Pretty much every DT that's built like him is always a star development. Or soup. I will take a superstar player when I expect them to be a star. Watch this as the guy with superstar while... The tackle that should have been super... No, just both star. Okay. Uh, and then Sergio Buck. You never know. Could be a superstar for all we know. Why is this morale down? Didn't we play well? We won a Super Bowl. What do you mean? Excuse me. Hello. We just won a Super Bowl, didn't we? I think we did. We traded William Perry and... Uh, what the hell is his damn name? Regis and Kelly... For uh, pick two from the Chargers. 32, 64, and Holloman for pick 11 from the Chiefs. It won't matter because obviously this will be the last season for us. So this is the roster going into the third and final season. Can we get the three, Pete? Can we potentially actually earn an achievement? I don't know what legacy we are, but it's got to be uh, it's gotta be getting there, right? What's the legacy? Uh, number three, or well, number five, but 3,000. Legacy out of whatever potential you can get. Only one yearly award, though. I feel like uh, being this consistent is probably Super Bowl or Coach of the Year worthy. Just, I'm just saying. I may, maybe I'm off my rocker, but just saying. We might need some backups, but overall, what a squad. 99 overall. This is probably the only way you can get one. Fantasy draft and, you know, obviously extra added talent. Santana Moss, though. He's so good. He's so fast. So pretty. 
Five year eighty eight though. We'll go Frank Ragnar because uh, you know, like eleven million a year, whatever the hell the price is for a great lineman would be okay. Awuzie, we're gonna give him the five year deal and just hope he develops up and you know he can play till he's thirty one, like the deal is suggesting. Uh, I think we might actually pay Savage because that's a savage deal. Look at his hair. His hair's sticking up out of the little profile picture. That's kind of cool. Uh, some of, a lot of them do that. Okay. Okay, it's not as cool anymore. Do we pay a fullback? A seven-year, $37 million deal? We'll give him a three-year deal, and we'll decide if it matters, which I don't think it does at all. Santanis Moss. I love Santana Moss, so we're going to give him the deal. Super fast. Headed to the playoffs. Three straight years. Three. 14 and 2, finishing strong. I will take it. We lose to the Rams and the Texans. We don't lose to the Cardinals this time. Look at us learning from our mistakes. Hell yeah, Cardinals still made the playoffs, but still, Michael Vick with the best yards. I think technically his best touchdowns, but a lot more picks than normal. Uh, wow, OJ Simpson went absolutely off. This team is ready to dominate. Randy Moss, 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns. Blocking, what was the numbers there? Jesus, I got so confused. Larry Allen and Matai, really? 16, that's a sack a game, pal. Oh, here we go. 25 and a half sacks for Joe, 24 and a half for Lawrence Taylor, and 21 for John Randall. Damn, Darrell Revis, Revis Island's back. Five picks, nice. And yeah, I might actually do a blast in the past. I've got so many blasts in the past ideas. If you guys have any that I might you you think I might not know, so far as I can't exactly spoil. Steve Young's been killing it. I can't exactly spoil it because then you know maybe you guys won't in, be interested as much. Let me know in the comment section below. Flemings already doing well. Did we we did trade William Perry? Uh, we had a pretty good season. A lot of big names as well. We had three on the offensive line, three on the D line. Jesus. The 8-8, eight and eight. they're 8-8. Eight and eight. Oh, they are 94 overall, though, as well. Going to the end of the game, 7-0 to zero after they started with the ball. So, good defense. I love the shot. I really don't love the shadowing. I'm not even going to – I'm not even going to joke about it. It's, it's that big of a serious issue on this channel. I hate the shadow effect. Why? I know it's probably like that in real life, but still – Really close game from an 8-8 eight eight Saints team who obviously did have to win a game to get to us. But still, it's not like we expected this to happen defensively. That's the one that matters. Defense has clearly been the one leading us on this journey as you know, the offense has been super 50-50, specifically in the regular season. Now you would think with this roster, we'd be absolutely killing. Although, once again, we did see it season one at least. The receiving yards weren't too high. Let's see if they're still pretty bad. You know, like, I think the highest receiving yards was, like, 1,100-something, so... Has that changed at all? Kinda, maybe, Reggie Wayne, but outside of that, not really. You know, Randy Moss was up there with <laughs> Ryan Switzer. What the hell is going on here? The Giants. Ooh, this could be a tough one. Steve Young, I believe... Wait, no, it isn't. I think Joe Montana had... Jerry Rice. One of the quarterbacks had Jerry Rice. It might have been Steve Young, so I don't know. But MVP of the league multiple times, maybe even three straight. Against our little 49ers team looking for its third straight Super Bowl win. The Patriots make it back to the Super Bowl. I think if we can win this game, we have another Super Bowl win on our hands. Huh? Okay, defense makes a play. We get three. Would love to start getting touchdowns, because if they get a touchdown, we are no longer in the lead. Huge field goal before half, but it's only a six-point lead. Nine-point lead. Okay, defense. Keep it up. What's happening? No, 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 no. No, no, no. We need to win this game. Guys. Okay, defense. Okay, offense. Okay, they're running out of time because the game doesn't allow you to call timeouts. Well, they don't allow us. They allow the AI. They don't allow the AI to call timeouts. Harold Carmichael wearing number 14. Santanis almost died. Obviously, we don't even have to come in. You know, it was first and 10 from the 40. AI would have had a chance. I mean, they could kick it from here, potentially have a shot at it. But I don't trust this game at all with time management, so I'm just not going to do it. And Harold Carmichael is a freaking monster. It's not easy remembering things. Santana? Santana, too fast, Moss. 
And with that nonsense, we have won three straight Super Bowls. I don't know if you guys really want to see. I would love to see who MVP is. So we'll 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 chat nonsense with you guys until we see MVP. But overall, what a team! It's probably not that hard considering you know this is kind of the result for the most part when we do regular fantasy. So when you know there's that much talent, and the AIs are willing to take like. James Connor, when you still have like Warwick Dunn out there, you know that's you're probably gonna you're probably gonna see stuff like this happen. Also, very weird that you would have the opposing team taking photos with the Super Bowl winning team like it's some preseason game. I don't get the animations. They, like they do realize that the Super Bowl, right? Have they watched any Super Bowl post game in the last like 20 years? I I don't. I'm stupid. This isn't even the Super Bowl, you idiot. <laughs> Why did I think that was the Super Bowl? Oh, my. It's staying in. It's staying in. My stupidity is staying in. We did not win three straight Super Bowls. We've won three straight NFC Championship games. God, I hope we lose to the Patriots just to make us look that much more dumb. I was, I was like, wait a minute. But, I mean, even then, obviously what I said still freaking applies. They're not going to take photos like that for the championship game. It's a giant celebration. All right, Patriots, 93 overall. God, please win for my mistakes. Please, 49ers, do it for me. Going to the end of the game. Oh, nice touchdown. Long one probably to Randy Moss, let's be honest. I mean, there's a lot of great talent on the team, so you never know. Another touchdown, I like it. Defense holding up. Start of the second half will be a eight-point lead. 21 to 6. Okay. 21 to 13. Defense doing its job. And we do win a Super Bowl. So you guys hating on me in the comment section can suck it. Alright? Even though I hate on myself probably more than anyone ever will. You know, if you got to this point in the video, I I grateful. That's awesome. Is that Dwight Freeney? God, this is a fun one. This is a f really fun. I mean, I was a little loopy. You know, sometimes the commentary may be repetitive or just completely dumb. I am extremely tired. But if this was a really boring, normal rebuild, I probably would have fell asleep throughout the middle of it. So that's a testament to how fun it is to work with legends. Obviously, kind of sucks that you don't have the developments there. It doesn't really matter because obviously pretty much 90% of the legends that were added would all be Superstar or X Factor anyways. Uh, Darrell Revis with a touchdown, a pick six, and three tackles, winning himself Super Bowl MVP. That's that's actually pretty damn interesting. Okay, it's very interesting. And well, let's take a look who's on the podium. <laughs> I can't believe I actually made the mistake. Okay, we don't need to see any more. Michael Vick just doesn't look like Michael Vick here. Obviously, uh, completion percentage is just through the roof for the entire league at quarterback. Well, obviously a quarterback. I mean, it's you don't really care about. That oh it was Randy Randy Beastly Moss breaking one open for us but yeah it, oh my God the sack totals as well this this team is really good let me know in the comment section who you would have taken instead and if you have actually used this exact class let me know what your roster turned out as I kind of wanted Charles Woodson really wanted Deion Sanders but I mean it would Darrell Revis as our number one still a really good number one obviously. Uh, and we are a what? And 99 overall, did we have any development development ups? That would be great news. Did we? I don't think we did. Defensively, we did not there either. So, yeah, that's just the way it is. 13 upgrades for Green, and obviously he's nowhere near done. He's only 23. And then uh, 9 for Lauren Saylor. He's only 23. So, yeah, that's, that's quite insane. Let's take a look at Michael Vick's ratings now, though. Speed, Excel, and Agility, I don't think went up, but obviously his throwing stats did. 99 Moss, 99 Speed, he did not. But anyways, that's going to be the Fantasy Draft Rebuild. Le fantasy Legend dra legend Fantasy Draft Rebuild. Ah. <laughs> uh, on Madden 20. If you guys like this video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Trumpy Care. I am literally going to pass out the moment I edit this, so pray for me to wake up within the next several days hopefully this gets posted <laughs> and yeah if you have any suggestions for rebuild ideas in the future franchise ideas blast in the past su player suggestions superstar ko uh, you know suggestions anything at all you know a player you want to see on one of our existing franchises let me know in the comment section below even if i don't reply to every comment even if i don't like every comment 
I do read every single one of them. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!